Remember, before you get started, anytime you're doing something with tools, especially when you're drilling and especially above your head, make sure you have on some safety glasses. And make sure your helpers have on their safety glasses too. I uh, perfectly find these uh, maker glasses from uh, Google to be an excellent uh, and very trendy looking, uh, although not very clean right now. Uh, solution and uh, yep. if you notice there are kids safety glasses that you can get if you're having uh, your small ones help okay all right so today I'm gonna start running some network cable to fix a slight problem that I have um, in one of my rooms I have an abundance of internet connected devices attached to my TV yet the problem is there are not enough network cables now, if you notice, this is a uh, Scepter device, and it is a dumb TV. There are places for all kinds of inputs, and if you notice, the main reason that I got it is it has four HDMI ends, but what it does not have is an input for Ethernet. That's fine, because most everything attached to it is Ethernet connected. So now, the first thing I've done is, if you'll notice, there was no spot for a cable box, so I've measured my walls so that I know I can fish some cable up through here from underneath in the basement. And so I've cut out my box, or my hole for my box, and that's going to slip right in there. But the next thing that I need to do is go downstairs and measure and drill a hole so that I can snake my wire up through here and pull my cable. Alright, so if you'll notice there's a few pre-existing holes and I have drilled an extra one right here. And this is going to be what I use to pull my cable through. So what I've got is I've got some wire that I'm going to run it through. First I'm going to have to bore it out bigger so that I can actually pull cable through. So I'm going to drill that one out a little bigger and then I'm going to use my snake wire. I got it, Daddy. Which I have right here. It's just some wire and I'm going to attach the cable to the end of it and then I will be able to uh, pull it through. What I've sighted from is right there, the box right there is what I measured from to make sure that my hole is in the right place. So, I'm drilling out the hole a little bit more and we'll start pulling some wire. Okay, so now the thing I need to do is pull my snake wire out and there you go. And so now I'm going to be able to attach my cable to the end of the wire and pull it through. So what I'll do is I'll wrap the cable around and then I will tape it off and that will give me a nice sturdy end that I can pull it down through and uh, to my router where I will make a uh, end to go into the back of that and uh, then I'll have a uh, pass through from here down to my router. Okay, so step one is to twist the fish cable around the uh, actual ethernet cable, kind of like this. I'm going to cut some of this off on both ends, so I'm going to waste a little bit, but it's not a big deal because I've got plenty. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape around, starting up here, and tape down through here so I make a nice, uh, clean thing that I can fish everything through. Alright, and there's my piece taped up. It's not the most professional job, but it's going to be easy enough to get it done. As you notice, there is no insulation in the hole in here, so there's not a lot going on. And now, as you see, my Cat5 wire has been successfully pulled through. There's the end. And now it's going to I got it. I got run along it. the ceiling and into my network area. A hole down at the end, right there. Okay, so this storage area underneath my stairs, as you can see, is what I'm going to use to have my uh, my switch for some of the network cable that I'm going to run. So I have my router sitting out where I can actually get to it, and so down here. I'm going to have a secondary switch for some of the cable runs that are going to be a little bit out of the way, such as the one going to the living room, one going to the playroom, and one going up to the master bedroom. So we're going to start to work on this by first putting our blue box in, and we're going to go from the back uh, in this one instead of from the front, uh, just to make things uh, a little easier to cut because it's a very tight space over on the front side where this piece is going to be. So there we go. 
So if you notice on this one, it's labeled A and B uh, on the back of the keystone. And so you just follow the wiring directions for the B style so that you make sure that you have it in the correct uh, configuration. And so when you're finished, the back of your keystone should look something like this. And so to finish out the thing for the wall, all you have to do is pull your cable through your box and screw it in and you have your cable and your box ready to go and then you can put your faceplate on and it'll look nice and finished. And this is the uh, final patch bay uh, hidden behind the entertainment center. And uh, that's what it looks like all nice and put together with a, uh, I didn't make that cord and that's one I obviously bought. Uh, I should probably change it out to gray or something just for aesthetics, but for right now the blue one was sitting around and it beats a bright yellow one. So that's how we're going to leave it up here behind the entertainment system. And for the test, uh, here we are updating our profile on the, the DVD player, uh, which is one of the things that doesn't have Wi-Fi on it, so uh, it'd be nice to be able to access some of the online settings for that. Okay, well that about wraps this project up. We've got uh, working network going to our switch and back up to the router so that everything is working up through to the first room. There's a couple more to go, but uh, that gives you the basics of how you can, uh, at least in this instance, run through a basement. The same principles apply if you're going through an attic, um, but anywhere you can get access to some behind-the-scenes stuff in your house, as it were, you can fairly easily pull some network cable up and using some fairly simple tools and some supplies readily available at uh, your local hardware store, you should be able to uh, pull some network cable through your own house and uh, get the same kinds of results that I've had. So, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you found this uh, helpful and enjoyable.